It's time now to review headlines of today's newspapers. All right, and we'll be doing this together with Adesua. And we'll start, of course, with the newspaper of record this day on Saturday, uh, where the lead story says Dangote set to flood African market with refined petroleum products, sending jitters. And the riders are very illuminating. Company says NMPC to supply next four cargoes in three weeks. Final shipment to come from ExxonMobil. Refinery to load 2,900 trucks a day at its truck loading gantries. Dangote Okumbo excited by significant milestone achieved. Tinobu optimistic of increased investment from SPDC. I mean, that's why we discussed this already, mm. you know, uh, at the angle that uh, the editor of uh, This Day on Saturday, who's a business-minded uh, editor, by the way, you know, has had it, is that the fact that, you know, that the refinery is set to flood African market with refined petroleum product is already sending jitters. <laughs> you know, it has the capacity uh, to satisfy local need and then to also, I, I think, about 12 to 16% of the entire African market. Outside, of course, you know, your Algeria, your Egypt, your South Africa, who are doing well on their own. So it's good news. It's good news, as we said. Uh, the landmark thing will be when it rolls out. You know, yeah, we're waiting, you know, waiting our appetite and everything. But as they say, the proof is in the pudding. So isn't it? So <laughs> absolutely. So I think, <laughs> you know, we need to, when the timeline, when the time comes and yeah. we see the refined products and then then I will personally get the jitters. <laughs> I will personally be excited. Let's hope that we won't have to wait for another, you know, six months or more, you know, to get this started. Because there are a lot of naysayers out there to say, oh, that's just um, a trick, mm. you know, some photo trick, you know, to get people talking. And I mean, you can't have this amount uh, of investment and you just don't want it to work. No, mm. that's not how things work. That's you know, true. and the mere fact that Nigeria's money is there. 20% of the stake belongs to you and I. It has to work, frankly yes. speaking. But like I said earlier, it should work, but so should the other four, because we need them to work. Uh, other stories, uh, on the window, a major boost. Moody's Global Ratings upgrades Nigeria's outlook to positive from stable. And below that on the strip, the story on page five says, 2024 budget NMPCL rejects Senate proposal to increase crude oil benchmark. I think that's arising from the debate on, you know, what is contained in the budget and everything. And um, on the side there, Ondo crisis deepens as Commissioner alleges Akeridulu's signature forged. I saw the uh, Lady Commissioner for Information and National and uh, Orientation from Bundo State, you know, on the Rise TV and a few other stations, you know, trying to defend uh, what, frankly speaking, is very hard, you know, to defend. Uh, the governor, uh, you know, will sympathize with him, but this is not the way to carry on. If he's unable to dispense his duty uh, as required by constitution, as required by morality, as required by common sense, uh, uh, the normal thing to do will be what he uh, prescribed to former president, you know, uh, yeah, Yaradua, yeah. you know, uh, you should resign so that you don't lose the, you know, all the sympathies that people will have for you as somebody who, you know, is just sadly down on his, you know, uh, uh, luck and health yes. at this point in time. But to continue to defend why he should stay in Ibadan, why they can see him, and then you are saying that he's approving files, he's doing this and that. It's, it's not fair on the state. It's, uh, it's, you know, we spoke about this weeks ago, and I just reiterating what you said and what I've also said, it's mm. not fair on the people of Ondo State. It is absolutely unfair mm -mm. for them to be left with this, you know, situation. And as you said, the governor should listen to the advice he gave Yaradua all mm. those years ago and he should definitely resign. This is an embarrassment, I think. This this um 
the, conf the problems they're having now with is the signature been forged? Is it not being forged? Allegedly. Allegedly. Alleged forging of signature. Is that is an embarrassing, it is is an embarrassing, embarrassing scandal for it's the people of Honduras. It's something that should have been avoided. Of course. You know, it's something that should have been avoided. It should not, did not need to get here. There are political solutions to this kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, uh, you're even being unfair to yourself. You know, uh, look after your health. There's no point struggling when it is obvious that uh, uh, you are in no shape. You are in no shape, physically and mentally, you know, to carry on the duties of, of being a governor. Should, should we look, look at The Guardian uh, very yes, quickly? Yes, um, I think we should look at The Guardian. The main story here is Yuletide. Nigerians shelf traveling plans over insecurity and transport affair. Um, I mean, this has been a... Traveling plans, <laughs> traveling within Nigeria or traveling outside. <laughs> I mean, in transport fair, but also insecurity. Like, this is a mm. topic that has been, I would say, is a trending yeah. topic, especially in the past, um, over the last weekend, on you know, online and stuff, with people talking about how, because of the fear of kidnappings mm. and the fear of insecurity in certain regions in the country, um, right. the Southeast, you know, we spoke about the peace in the Southeast right. um, move, um, project that yeah. they have going on. These things are robbing people of their reconnecting with their family over the Christmas You're break. You're it's robbing people of forming memories for even maybe their children that they were able to have for themselves. It's a mm. very sad thing, I think. And it, it is. It is. And I think that Lagos, in a way, will feel it in the volume of traffic mm. that we have. Uh, ordinarily, in the past, what you have is that uh, uh, Lagos will be so free that you can drive from point A to B to see D, you know, <laughs> because many people will have gone to their villages, okay. you know, those who say, you know, I mean, those who like to <laughs> celebrate Christmas and New Year yeah. uh, in their villages. But this time around, they are saying that nobody wants to go home because you can't, you can't even trust those that you are, uh, are going to be celebrating with not to plan for you. One minute before we leave, um, let's quickly look at Saturday Vanguard. Uh, and the only story there outside, of course, outside of the... Um, uh, um, a paid uh, advert there is citizens to Tinubu cut cost of governance Nigerians suffering uh, I think that um, uh, th th that's, that's worth reiterating mm. you know at this point that no matter what we do no matter what we say uh, no matter the analysis that we give to the reforms that we're trying to do don't let us get carried away to the point that we won't realize that where we are as of today, many Nigerians are struggling. Yes. Uh, if not most Nigerians. And it's only when you talk to people, uh, 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 you feel it everywhere. You encounter it, you know, everywhere. Not just uh, in remote parts of the country, in cities, in sure. families. You know, people are struggling. Uh, and that's why uh, the appearance is as important as the impression. So that mm -hmm. when we see what, what um, government officials are doing, whether they're going to uh, uh, Honga in New York or to Dubai, you know, for COP, you mm -hmm. know, or anywhere, you know, uh, make things moderate uh, to respect the signs of the time so that of people course. don't say that, oh, they are different, they're living a different kind of life, whereas we are the ones tightening our belts. The president should be sensitive. And it should show by leadership. Of course. All right. That brings us to the end of the morning show today. Thank you for watching and do stay safe. I'm Steve Ayoride. And I'm Adesua Giwa Osage. From our entire team here in Lagos, Nigeria, enjoy the rest of your morning and, of course, the rest of your day. Goodbye.